What's up and welcome to another episode. It has been a long time of how we shot it. So this is this is a series where I kind of go through some of the photos we post on Instagram and let you know how we shot it. I'm going to chop it up like right here in the post-production lab just Lightroom. I'm, uh, we're gonna chop it up in there, and then uh, and then so you can see everything on what I do from the raw to the finished product. Also, if this looks a little funny, it's because this is also on live. So make sure if you guys are just watching on YouTube, follow us on Instagram at Anchor and Veil. So at Anchor and Veil, so that you can see these when they come live. They're also gonna be on our Instagram TV, our IGTV thingamabobber. So excited for you to follow along. We are gonna take one of our most infamous photos and chop it up. So let's dive right in. All right, so we're gonna go from this photo, which is like one of our most iconic photos, and um, which is really, it's a really popular photo that a lot of people have liked. It's won awards, it's blah, blah, blah. It's a lot of people like, it's it's just a, it's a good photo. And so um, I'm gonna show you guys now, what I love most about this is the, whoops, what I love most about this is the original file, what it looked like. And a little side note, like I actually deleted this photo before uh, or I didn't call it in. So I decided that I didn't want this photo to be a part of the client's gallery. And then I came back, I think like six months later or so and went through them and, and decided that I did, uh, or decided to, like, I was like, oh, this is interesting. I'm gonna work on it. So this is the original photo here. Pretty crazy. So this is what it looked like before, uh, before like when I shot it, we were running to, me and the bride, we were running to the to her limo because it was raining. And then her dad was in there waiting for her to get in there. And that's who this figure is right here. Her father, he had it, he put his finger, he put his hands out to invite her into the limo. And then that's when he kind of brought her in. And so I saw this photo and I didn't like it at first. And then came back to it like six months later, decided to do something different. And so what I did here is I came up, I pressed R. And R is how I can, is this the shortcut for cropping? So R cropped it. And then I decided to press X. So X is another shortcut that allows me to get, it, it does the horizontal crop for you. So um, I saw that and I was like, oh man, this looks absolutely amazing. I saw it up here in this previews bar and I thought it looked absolutely amazing. So in seeing that, I decided to press enter and I thought this would be an awesome black and white. I have a couple of different black and white options uh, and I decided to go with this one here. Then in going there, uh, I liked it. I, I brought down the highlights because I wanted to see more of her. So bringing down those highlights, you can see that. And then I wanted to focus more on this hand because the hand, she's not the she's not the kind of the main point of this. She's not the subject of this photo. This hand is here. And so you could do that in a couple different ways. I use the radial filter. And in the radial filter, I can go in here and I can um, adjust what I want it to focus on. And then I can see what it focuses on by pressing O. So when I press O, it comes up. When I press O again, it goes off. So, why are you not going off? Okay, so for some reason, oh, there it goes. So, but when I press O, it's back. When I press O, it comes off. And then now I can adjust everything other than the hand. So I wanted to bring her down a little bit. There it goes. And I'm gonna come up here and add a new radial filter. And I'm gonna just, just I'm gonna only worry about the hand. So by going there and then coming down here to invert, I can focus on only the hand, and I want that hand to be super crisp. So I want the clarity up, sharpness up, and then I brought the hand down just because it was a tad bit bright, but I love that. Contrast up, clarity up, sharpness up, brought down this a little bit, and that looks awesome. Like, that looks really, really good. I like it. I think it might actually be a little bit bright still. So I clicked on here to see what it's going to be. I pressed O. When I clicked on these filters, since they're so close to each other, I pressed O to see which one it's on. It is on the one I want it to be. Come down a little bit with that, with that exposure. And then I'm going to crop in a little bit more. See how close I can get to the final without seeing the final again. Um, I'm going to come up here. Ooh, I like that a lot. That looks good. Bring the exposure down on it as a whole. That looks good. And then I actually want some more 
detail in this area over here just a little little highlight this area so I can do one of two things I can use the brush tool or I could do this uh, I forget what this tool is called uh, oh it just popped up uh, the gradient filter tour tool and so I can do that and you can generally adjust my gradient filter tool is not working well uh, lately and it's been frustrating me so I'm not gonna use it uh, I can use the brush tool and I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna brush this because I want some of this I want some of this this to be highlighted a little bit more uh, so I'm gonna come up here I'm gonna put some clarity on that maybe a little bit of sharpness again but then bring the highlights down so I can see these raindrops I love being able to see the raindrops now one thing I don't like is these little things in here so uh, I'm gonna come in with the brush tool again and I'm gonna come and I'm going to bring that I'm gonna brush all around that bring that down now you'll notice that all of it didn't go away and that's because some highlights are still in there so I'm gonna bring the highlights down here as well now you'll also notice that it didn't go away still that's partially because the auto mask feature is on now auto mask what that does is that allows me what I like about the auto mask is it allows me to stay within the lines it's almost like a kid trying to draw on a the coloring book helps you to stay between the lines so you'll notice that when I do that and this brush is a little bit on her on her face the 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 brush doesn't affect it until I go to her face so the auto mask tool is really nice because then if I didn't have the auto mask tool it would just go, it bleed under her face a little bit when I wouldn't want that so now I'm gonna make sure that I auto mask and now you see that it goes away I'm gonna auto mask some of this stuff out I might crop up even a little bit more okay cool loving this photo right now let's see going from there to there and now let's see I haven't seen the final yet but we're gonna see what this one looks like compared to the final product so this is there and that's the final wow very close you'll see that I you'll notice that I've done a lot more sharpening and things like that in the final just because I spent more time on it but pretty dang close looks pretty dang good um, not too bad so I hope this was helpful for you guys to see kind of what I did to get to this remember it came from this photo right here into this photo right here so remember there are a lot of things that you guys can do make sure that you sometimes you don't want to delete the photo or sometimes you delete the photo go back see what you can do to it because there's always something that could be done to it so really awesome really excited I hope you enjoyed thank you guys for watching on YouTube uh, thank you guys for, 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 for tuning in uh, it's really cool to see the creative process of some photographers and some of the, their images that you may like or some of my favorite photos because this is by far one of my favorite photos I've ever taken and to think I almost threw it away and so really cool to show you guys that process from beginning to end. So thanks. I'm going to try to do more of these more often. I hope you enjoyed.